In the last video, we discussed how to dial to the VOR frequency and identify we have the correct VOR with Morse code. In this example, I want to show you how to intercept a course when you are flying to a VOR. Let's say in this example, I will be taking off from Herman Airport. Instead of just flying directly to the Hallsville VOR like so, I am going to intercept a 335 degree course. In order to do this, I'm going to rotate the OBS knob to 335 degrees. If I don't set the OBS knob to the right course, I will be flying the wrong course, so it's important to get that right. Now let's focus on how the CDI needle will look in relation to the course we want. Remember that the course we want is 335 degrees. If we fly anywhere to the right of the course, the needle will point to the left, indicating the course is to the left of where we are located. We see that if we are flying anywhere in the 2 quadrant, the flag will indicate 2 and the needle will point to the left. If we are even with the VOR, there will be no flag and the needle will point to the left. If we are flying in the from quadrant, the flag will indicate from with the needle pointing to the left again. If we are on course, the flag will indicate to when heading towards the VOR, nav for over the VOR, or from when flying from the VOR, but the CDI needle will be centered in all three cases. If we are somewhere to the left of the course, the CDI needle will be pointing to the right, and we will see two in the two quadrant, no flag if even with the VOR, or from in the from quadrant. The other thing to keep in mind is no matter which way the plane is pointed in a given spot, the CDI needle will be the same in that spot. So if I'm pointed north, it will look the same, east, it will look the same, south, it will look the same, and west, it will still look the same. I say this because it is important to know where you are in relation to the course. For example, if I'm pointed this way, I could easily turn to the left, thinking the course is to the left of my plane, and end up moving further away. And of course, the closer you are to the course, the more centered the CDI needle will be. Now I could fly directly to the course by flying at a 90 degree angle to the course to get there the fastest, or at a heading of 245 degrees. But instead of doing that, I'm going to intercept the course at 45 degrees or a heading of 290 degrees. At what angle you decide to intercept a course is up to you, but make sure the angle is not too large or you'll end up passing up the VOR and your flag will indicate from at that point. Keep in mind, if there are winds, you may have to adjust your headings, but we will cover that in future videos. For now, we are flying with no winds to keep it simple. So I have taken off from Herman Airport. I have my radio set to the Hallsville VOR at 114.2. I've confirmed the Morse code and I have set my course to 335 degrees. I am now flying a heading of 290 degrees to intercept the course. The flag indicates 2 and the needle is pointing to the left as I am to the right of the course as I would expect. Notice as I get closer to the course, the VOR needle gets closer to the center. When the needle gets close to the center, I will start to turn right towards the 335 degree heading so that when I reach the course, my heading will be 335 degrees. This is a skill you will learn as you practice. If you come in too steep, the needle in this example will cross over and point to the right and you will have to turn back and get back on course and the needle centered again. I have now reached the course so the needle is centered and my heading is at 335 degrees, matching up with what is indicated on the OBS. And I'm still heading to the VOR. and you may have to make subtle heading corrections to keep the needle center. Turn it to the right a little if the needle is to the right, or lift a little if the needle is to the left.
We are now over the VOR, so the flag indicates nav. And now we are flying from the VOR, again as indicated by the flag. Subscribe to this channel to learn more.